Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Jedi Talk Podcast YouTube channel. I am Brad Hughes and today we have another unboxing video. I am so excited about this. This is something I didn't expect to film until like January. This isn't technically out yet. Um, I was able to find one at a local Target. Randomly they had one out. I, I picked it up because I thought it was going to be registered locked. Um, but it wasn't. I was able to pick it up and bring it home and I am so excited to do this unboxing. This is the helmet that I have been waiting for. I'm so excited. Yes, they've done Vader ones in the past, but this one has new stuff in it. Um, the assembly looks great. I'm just overall excited. Make sure if you like this video to hit like and subscribe and comment down below if this is one of the Black Series helmets that you are going to get. Now enough talking, let's get to open. And this is an electric premium helmet and it retailed $131.99 for anyone who's interested. How does it feel? Does it feel good? It feels sturdy. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be, but I think a lot of people are going to wear this. This is heavy. That's very heavy. This thing is really heavy. This is not so heavy, um, which I think is actually probably good because it's held in with magnets. And if it's really heavy, it might be hard to take off. So let's let's just see how this thing goes. Look how detailed it is. That is very, very detailed. And kind of scary to put on, to be honest with you. And I'll leave the batteries in. All right, so to install the batteries, you just need two AA batteries and a little tiny screwdriver to unscrew that and put the batteries in. I did it once I put the batteries in. It made like a Vader noise. I don't know what I did to activate it. Maybe it's just the batteries saying they're good. I don't know, but it honestly freaked me a little bit. All right, so once the batteries are installed, I might have too big of a freaking neck for this. The batteries are installed. Just reconnect it here so you can wear it. You know it's oddly not uncomfortable. I know that makes it doesn't sound like it wouldn't be, but it, it's not. And the cool thing about this is, it is just, I don't like masks by the way, so this is kind of, I'm getting a little cuffed up and sweaty. This is, I'm kind of freaked out, that's why I'm looking really cool. My 
my head might be too big for this. I don't know if I can do this. God, Amy's a gangster. I don't know if I can do this, I really don't. I don't know how to put this on. It's part of the problem. I don't know how to go on. Here, put that, actually, just, we'll see if I can get this on. Put it down. Press the button here. I wish it had a voice changer, but it doesn't, so that's fine. Now, I want to show you something really cool. Watch this. No, well, listen to the sound effect. Listen to this. It's like the Return of the Jedi. It's the dying sound from the Return of the Jedi when he has it off. That is so freaking awesome. So overall, I am very, very impressed with this. I'm impressed with the quality. The only thing I would give a critique on is that this top piece is very light. But again, with it being magnetic, it's kind of already hard to take off. So I'm wondering if that's why they went with that, because the rest of it is very, uh, very sturdy. And not that this is not sturdy, but it's definitely not the same level of classic as this is. But uh, it is really cool, and it is terrifying. <laughs> uh, it is such a cool helmet. I'm so happy I got this. That is all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go and decompress after being stressed out. I don't know how much I'm gonna show of me putting the helmet on and having a slight panic attack because I'm very claustrophobic, but that helmet kicks ass. If you can find one near you, get it. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.